What's going on everyone and welcome to the very first and probably last episode of... Bookmakers don't let long-term winners play, but no one really knows about it because most of the mainstream media cover it up. Title probably needs work, I guess. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Luke, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how I got banned by pretty much every single major bookmaker in the country. So what I thought I would do in this video is I thought I would go through each of the major bookmakers that I could think of, that I'm banned from, and talk very briefly about why I'm banned from them. For those of you that are brand new to the channel, I'm mainly going to be talking about something called matched betting in this video. Now, you don't need to have knowledge of this to really understand what I'm talking about or to enjoy the video, but if you do want to go ahead and learn more about matched betting or any of the strategies I talk about throughout this video I've tried to link pretty much every single thing I talk about down in the description below so if you do want to go ahead and learn more about that stuff then you can do so first of all we're gonna start with bet365 just because they're probably the biggest bookmaker in the country I guess definitely one of the most favored bookmakers for your traditional punter now bet365 were a very profitable account for me they had numerous offers that I loved to exploit the most commonly known one of these from bet365 is the 50 pound in play offer. Loads of people use this, both punters and match bettors, but the 50 pound offer is very, very good just because you can guarantee around 30 pound absolute minimum in profit. Bet365 also have a good horse racing offer that's been running for numerous years where you can bet 50 pound or up to 50 pound on a horse. If your horse wins, you can then get a risk-free bet on the next race up to the same value of 50 pound. If that horse wins, it then continues to the next race that's on TV. And this just carries on and on and on until you eventually have a loser. Now with this strategy, you can actually guarantee a small profit if you wish, or you can do it so that you break even at a minimum and hit bigger wins if your horse does go on to win. The main thing that got my account finally shut down was two up. Two up was and still is probably the best match betting offer that is around and has been around. So if you want to see what it looks like when you do get shut down by Bet365, they send you one of these lovely emails that tells you that they've had a review by their trading team and they're no longer able to offer you telephone betting. And whilst you can still bet online, there may be some restrictions. Now, here's one of those restrictions in action. I picked a random horse, clicked the bet max button, and as you can see, they're letting me bet a whole two pound and 14 pence. Next up is Coral. Coral were also a very good bookmaker for me, particularly because of their VIP scheme. Now the Coral VIP scheme is very, very lucrative once you get into it. You get hundreds of pounds worth of free bets or even thousands of pounds worth of free bets. You also get casino offers that are very, very high EV with low wagering, but high bonus rewards. However, they do restrict you typically quite quickly once you're in that VIP scheme and start to exploit their bonuses. After probably, I don't know, between a month to three months after qualifying, you are probably gonna get gubbed. Next up on the list is William Hill. William Hill used to have a really good offer that I used to love, where you could bet up to 50 pound on a first goal scorer, and if they actually scored second, you would be paid out your stake as a free bet. So what you could do is you could bet 50 pound on your player to score first, then on the exchange, you could bet against or lay that player. So if your player did score first, that's not really the ideal, outcome you would end up losing a few pence on your bet mainly in commission on the exchange if your player didn't score first and also didn't score second it would be the same outcome you would just lose a few pence mainly in commission however if your player didn't score first but did score second you would get a free bet worth 50 pound and it would only cost you those few pence still in the investment you could also combine this with other first goal scorer offers so basically your player could score first second or even any time and on one different bookmaker or another you would end up getting a free bet or an odds boost or a range of other things that just made all these offers on first goal scorer markets really really profitable william hill also have a really good horse racing offer called What's it called? Five clear? Two clear? They've got different ones for jump racing and flat racing, but five clear on the jump racing was very, very profitable for me. Five up? Oh, well, I don't know what the, what it's fucking called. God, it's, it's like I'm meant to be an expert on the topic or something. But it has been quite a while since I've had access to William Hill bonuses. I can still get very small stakes through on things like horse racing for extra places, but mainly they are an account that I now have to avoid. Next up is Paddy Power. Paddy Power also had two up, the same as Bet365 on the football. They still do. They also have it on tennis. Tennis two up is the main way that my Paddy Power got banned. Now this was disappointing, but Paddy Power don't have the best odds in general. But when they do have promotions like this, things get pretty profitable pretty quickly. So just like the football offer, you're betting on a tennis player in a grand slam. If they go two sets up, but then lose, you end up getting paid out from multiple sites so you can hit really big wins. 
Paddy Power also had some really good offers in the past. In fact, my first ever reasonable sports win in match betting of a few hundred pound was on Paddy Power's Double Delight Hat Trick Heaven offer. They don't do this anymore, but another bookmaker that we'll talk about very shortly does. Basically, if you bet on a player to score first, and they do, and then they go and score a hat trick, you get paid out at treble odds. They also had a separate offer where you could bet on a player to score, and if they didn't score first, but they scored at any other time in the match, you would get a free bet of up to £50. So like the second goal scorer offer that we've already talked about, this one was even more lucrative because as long as they scored at some point in the match, you could get a profit. And what you would do is you would underlay your lay stake in order to make a profit even if they score first. Since Paddy Power merged with Betfair, it's been slightly harder to keep an account going for them for longer. I am hearing people say that they get gubbed a little bit more quickly than they used to. But Paddy Power can still be a very, very lucrative account if you know how to work it properly. The next bookmaker on my list is Skybet. Now, Skybet do a £5 weekly free bet club. They also do an odds boost on a weekly accumulator. It's normally a treble or a fourfold where you would get boosted odds and you can just lay it off on another site and you can make a very, very small amount in profit or underlay it to normally win between £20 and £30. I used to do the weekly free bet club. I used to do the odds boost, but it was extra places that got me shut down on Skybet. In things like Cheltenham and the Grand National, they have very, very good extra place offers where they would offer two or three extra places paid so when you bet each way normally you're going to get the first three or the first four horses but you were getting like the first six the first seven horses with this offer so I was putting some fairly large stakes down and the EV of the offer was very very high they also do free bets or even full cash refunds in certain things like Cheltenham where if your horse doesn't win they just pay you your stake completely back so Skybet can be a good account but like Paddy Power their odds aren't normally the best you kind of have to wait for big events like like Cheltenham, the Grand National, in order to really make use of them, but they can be very lucrative. Side note, I'm also banned from Sky Casino and Sky Vegas because they had some loopholes that were very profitable and easy to exploit. One was on a slot offer where instead of actually having to complete your wagering every time you hit a bonus round which was guaranteed every few minutes, the bonus round money would be paid into your account as cash. A nice simple loophole but eventually got me banned. The next bookmaker we're going to talk about is Ladbrooks. Ladbrooks actually banned me for in-play tennis arbing. For those of you that don't know what arbing is, it's basically where the odds on one site are higher than they are to bet against on another site. For example, the odds could be 2.5 on one site and 2.0 to bet against them on another site. That's a very big arb. But basically, as long as you bet the right amount on each outcome, you can guarantee a profit without needing any free bets or other promotions. Now, Ladbrokes used to be very, very slow at updating their in-play tennis odds. This was especially true if a player got injured or if a player just got broken on their serve. A player getting broken was instantly an opportunity to start arbing on a number of tennis matches, mainly in the smaller matches. So if it wasn't a TV match, you were going to be very likely to be able to get a really, really valuable arbitrage bet. It was disappointing when they eventually shut me down for doing this, but you can still get a good bit of profit from this, but Ladbrokes are quicker to restrict accounts these days. The next accounts, I'm going to join two together here with Betfred and Tote Sport. Now these are the same company effectively with two different sites. And Betfred and Totes bought the main offer that they do, the main offer that I exploited was Double Delight Hat Trick Heaven that I've already spoken about with Paddy Power. If your player scores first and then goes on to score a second, you get paid out at double odds. If they go on to score a third, you get paid out at treble odds. So you can turn the odds against the bookmaker and it will make it profitable for you long term as long as you know the right sort of odds to go for. Now the good thing is with these is that despite the fact I'm shut down online, I can still go into my Betfred stores and get bets on. Also on the website, you're limited to up to £100 to bet on these but in the store, there's no real cap. Up next is BetVictor. BetVictor are another account that banned me for extra places. BetVictor offer probably the best extra places around Cheltenham and the Grand National. They normally pay up to eight places paid, so whereas some bookmakers are doing four places, then a lot of them will offer a fifth place, some will offer a six, but BetVictor, at least they used to offer an eight places paid offer, which is just ridiculous. You could end up earning hundreds or even thousands of pounds in profit just by exploiting this depending on your stakes and your bankroll obviously. And that is just the only thing that got my account shut down. It got shut down quite quickly. I didn't really get too much time in terms of bet quantity through with BetVictor. I had the account for quite a while but only because I was using it very very sparingly when it comes to these big horse racing festivals. Eventually they saw what I was doing pretty easily and shut me down. Next up on the list is Betfair Sportsbook. Now Betfair have had a range of good offers in the past. They are very, very quick to shut down anyone doing match betting or arbitrage these days. 
especially because obviously they have the exchange themselves. They know what prices are plus EV or minus EV. They know which people are taking value essentially and they can spot it very, very easily. For me, the biggest earner via Betfair Sportsbook and the thing that got my account shut down was something called the each way edge loophole. Basically what you could do on the horse racing market is if the horse race was paying three places as part of its each way terms, you could put each way edge on it. And what it would do is it would then add an extra place paid so you could have four places paid, but it would reduce the odds slightly. However, sometimes that reduction in odds was still very, very profitable versus the exchange. They have changed their formula slightly so that it's not as profitable as it once was, and you will get shut down very, very quickly for doing this. We've not really got many bookmakers left, really. We've got Unibet. They shut me down for Arbing. I feel bad because they sponsored my beloved Aston Villa. <sighs> Rest in peace, Alan Hutton. And they also had a little loophole on a casino offer, which I made pretty good use of. Spoil Sports, aka Spoil Sport, they shut me down whilst doing their sign up offer. They used to have this offer where if you placed five bets, you would get a free bet. And I got three bets through and they shut my account down. Marathon, they're another one, not exactly a major bookmaker, but they shut me down for exploiting their high draw prices. So they were really overpriced in the draw markets, which allowed me to dutch against other sites. So instead of backing and laying via an exchange, I would back on one bookmaker, I would back the other team on another bookmaker, and then I would use the very high draw prices on Marathon in order to generate profits. And it could also be used for other promotions like two up. So I could back one team on bet 365. I could back the other team on Paddy Power. I could back the draw on Marathon bet. And with the two up promotions on both of those bookmakers, so I was making a profit or I was breaking even, the upside of a two up situation occurring was massive. But the good thing about Marathon, despite the fact they didn't really have many promotions, other than the fact that their draw odds were very high, is the fact that you could get some pretty big stakes down through them as well. There have been loads more smaller bookies. Shout out to Stan James, who let me arb them before every horse race in one day. Before each and every race, they're very, very slow to update their odds. So you could place an arb on a horse and guarantee a profit and you could move on to the next race and do the same and move on to the next race and do the same but it only took them a few hours to shut my account down by doing so but I did manage to make a few hundred pound by doing this in the small amount of time that they gave me to do so. Also on the list Bet Bright, 188 Bet, Sunbet, Bet on Brazil and countless others that have banned winning bettors like me only to end up shutting down anyway. I want to thank all of these bookmakers for their profits and the fact that we've been able to win via them despite the fact that they're whole system is designed to exploit people without proper knowledge of odds, probability, statistics, overrounds, and just the basic fact that they don't ever let long-term winners play. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different. If you are interested in betting guides, tips, tutorials, match betting stuff, arbitrage, then I would recommend that you subscribe to the channel. If you have enjoyed this, then click that like button. And if you've got any questions you want to ask whatsoever, drop them down in the comments section below. Something I will say before I go is that despite the fact that all of these accounts have gubbed me and stake restricted me massively, I have found a new way to make some decent profits for those people with a large betting bankroll. This is called Fortune Teller. I've dropped a link down down in the description below it's revolutionized my match betting it's completely brought it back to life and it's helping loads of new members as well that have started on the system i won't plug it any further but i do recommend that if you've got a large betting bankroll and you want to boost your match betting profits even further you go ahead check that out in the description down below thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again in another video